That's right. Uh, all right. Um, hey, look at you. Hi. I got to tell you, as your supervisor, I'm very impressed that you showed up on time. Wait a minute, you're my supervisor? Yes, I am. Well, we go like a round robin thing, you know, making sure that the uh, non-volunteers, community service people do their thing. Good. This is good. Okay. Well, then, then you can just you can just sign me in and out and and for the required hours. That's good. I mean, I, I won't tell if you well, won't that's tell. That's okay. Well, you have something very important to do. Uh, well, other than running fusion, I have to do major damage control with my husband. Not to mention trying to find a way to get your good friend Greenlee out of jail. Right. Right. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's not going to happen, see, because the courts are they're sticklers about people serving the sentence that they were given. <sighs> Can't you just say that I served it? Ooh, no, of course not. What do, you're, you're Martin. No, no, hey, now, you said that with, like, disgust in your voice. No, no disgust. Oh, yeah? No, just it's a little inconvenient, that's all. Huh. I assume I'll be doing some glorified candy striper duties. So <laughs> just don't make me wear the outfit, please. I look horrible in vertical stripes. Oh, yeah, no, you don't have to worry about that. So. Okay. Leona! Leona will take care of Leona, this is Kendall Hart Slater, okay? Leona's gonna tell you everything that's expected of you today. So, Erica Kane's daughter. Yes, yep, that's right. Um, it, it was Leona, right? Well, it is so nice to meet you. Colby? Hi, thanks for coming. Yeah, of course, I mean, you sounded so upset on your message. What is it? Did you, did you and Damon have a fight? Mm. No, I don't think so. What do you mean you don't know? Usually it goes like, it's your fault, no, it's your fault, no, it's your no, fault. No, no, Todd, I've been calling Damon all afternoon, but he's not picking up. And I ran into somebody today who took the GED the same day he did, and she said the results were in. Well, no, that makes sense. If he didn't pass the GED, just no way he'll call back. No, Todd, he did pass. You're kidding. Yeah. That's great. But it doesn't make any sense that he hasn't called me or you. You're right. If he passed, he should want to celebrate. Exactly. So, where's the party? Ow, ow. Great. Thank you. Didn't see sure. you there. Yeah, well, that's pretty obvious. Stellar Men Employment Agency. I'll take that. Thank you. Oh, are you looking for a job? Do you care? It's just a question. Well, I don't have time to answer, okay? I'm already late. Are you sure you feel better? <clears throat> the walls don't seem to be closing in anymore. Good. Your hand feels warm. Maybe because I'm still at the beach. <laughs> yeah, Cape Cod, that seemed to work, right? I was happy there. Good, well then, if things start to get a little tricky again and the walls start closing, then you can just kind of jet right back there, okay? I'll try. Do I need to get myself arrested and get thrown in here so that I can remind you? You'd do that, wouldn't you? Okay, you know what? Never mind. All right, just would you call the mayor and see if she can reschedule? Yeah, that is the exact same mayor that you called last week. Okay. Unbelievable. Liza. Hi, I was actually just on my way to your office. Huh. Probably a good thing that you didn't go to my office, because I would imagine that my assistant probably would have scheduled you for 2011. What? Never mind. 
Uh, listen, did you remember something else that Greenlee said? Uh, not that her threat against David wasn't enough. Listen, Liza. And by the way, I am going to subpoena you, so you better be prepared to elaborate. You can't put me on the stand. And why not? Because I lied. I never heard Greenlee say anything like that. And uh, why would you lie about something like that? Do I need to spell it out? I'm trying to build something with Ryan, and Greenlee keeps getting in the way. Well, the good news is that I'm not going to have to break the law because you are going to beat this. You are. I believe in you. Now you just got to start believing in yourself. Hmm. That was easier to do when I was on the other side of these things. Come on, Greenlee. I've seen you get through tons of dark times. You always, always get through to the other side. Couldn't have gotten through most of them without my partner in crime. <laughs> Bad choice of words. <laughs> Look, if, if there is um, anything that you need me to I do... I can't ask you. Why not? Because you and I are... What? Time's up. Uh, just, just give me five more minutes. Just, just fine. You know what? You better go before you do wind up in the next cell. I'll be fine if I put my ear to the bars. I can hear the ocean. <sighs> well, if I, if I could stay, you know... That... I know. You're not alone, okay? I must have been sick that day. Bet you think because your mother is a famous big shot that you're too good to get down and dirty with the rest of us. Excuse me? If that wasn't down and dirty in there, I don't know what is. You made more of a mess than you clean. Well, forgive me if I haven't mastered the art of toilet bowl cleaning. You've got to be firm with your brush. Move it in circular motions, not in these little prissy strokes like you were doing show you what I mean when we hit the next floor. But I have to do more floors? What are you getting all worked up about? Dr. Yeah, you don't understand. I'm, I'm not supposed to be doing community service. Let me guess. You're innocent, and the judge is making an example of you. Not really. I mean, yes, I, I messed up, but in a bigger way than just breaking a few laws. I lied to my husband, and uh, now I'm paying the price for just trying to make things right. If you think that sob story is gonna get you out of scrubbing the fifth floor, John, sister, you got to. I will thing gladly coming. make every toilet in town sparkle if that means that Zach would forgive me and come home. Ladies, you know, you look nice. Yeah. Leona, I think you're gonna be scrubbing uh, alone from here on out. What happened? No, there's been a change of plans. We were too young. David, hey. where have you been? I've been gone. You and Colin. What are you trying to give me a heart attack? What? I got tied up. Too tied up to tell us the good news? <laughs> what good news? Oh, don't you be modest. <laughs> Come on, I got you going. Yeah, I ran into that girl, Shelly, the one who took the GED with you, and she said that you aced it. Oh, yeah. Right. Yes. That's it? What, that, that's all you got to say? You've been, you've been working towards this for months. Yeah, we've been pulling for you. Passing the test was never the big goal. Getting a job that pays me more than minimum wage. That's what I've been shooting okay, for. Just, just take a moment and breathe. No, I don't, need, I don't need a moment. I need to make something happen no, now. Wait, wait. Look, I'm all for pulling yourself up by your bootstraps, okay? As long as you don't ask me what a bootstrap is. But under the circumstances, why don't you let us buy you a cheeseburger to celebrate? No, when I land my dream job, you can buy me a beer. When you land your dream job, you can buy me a beer because hopefully you'll be 21 by then. That's true. Maybe I can make something happen today. Jake Martin. Hey, Zach, how are you? You know, what's funny, Kendall was just here. I can run after... Okay. Well, what, what kind of help are we talking about? You ready for lunch and the playground adventure of the day? Yes. Should have taken typing. I just wanted to say, I, I want to know every single little thing that Trevor does on the swings. I do. But I think we should go to lunch and I want to tell you about a big adventure of my own. Oh. 
Well, that sounds too big to wait for lunch. What's going on? Okay. Zach Slater called me, and he wants uh, he wants a big favor for me. He's uh, you know doing whatever he's doing overseas, and it's some business thing, and it's dicey. Oh, what does that have to do with you? Well, I made a lot of connections overseas, honey, when I was doing Doctors Without Borders. In fact, I worked for him for a while when I think Cambius was funding a mission that I was doing, and Zach was paying for it at the time because he was running the company. Yeah, I remember. Uh, they had to send Aiden out to save you because you got kidnapped. That's right. Did save me. And so, you know, when somebody saves your life and they call you and ask you for a favor, you can't say no to them. So I think I have to go there. Go where? Back where you got kidnapped? Oh, no, not, not specifically to that place. Jake, how dangerous is this? Damon, you got to be a little patient. You know, in my experience, dream jobs those just don't fall from the sky. I know. You got to work for them. I know. I know. But as long as I land someplace that has a future, I'll be happy. Miss Horn. Damon? Yes. Who's that? She's from Sellerman's. She's hot. <sighs> Wait, you mean the yeah, employment agents? Yeah, she agreed to meet me here to discuss what kind of work I'd be qualified to do. Oh, you don't waste any time. Not anymore. Wait, 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 wait. Relax. Taddy, you okay? Huh? Oh, yeah, he'll be fine. Thank you for meeting me here. I have to start my shift soon, and I don't want to risk being late. That's very commendable. Hopefully we'll have you off shift work and into a 9 to 5 in no time. But before we can do anything, I need to review your application. Yep, I got it right here. <sighs> Take a breath. You're back on the Cape, running in the surf. Wind in your hair. Happy and free. With Brian. <laughs> what are you doing here? <laughs> I'm not arrested this time, I promise. Grab a mop and knock yourself out. Grab a mop? <laughs> Don't ask. I was stuck cleaning toilets with this neat freak named Leona, and all of a sudden Jake gets a call to send me down here. So, here I am. Not that I'm complaining, it's fine. I just, I don't understand why they would all of a sudden change my community service when my hair starts smelling like disinfectant. <clears throat> Ryan, what about him? When he left earlier, he said I wouldn't be alone for long. He had that look in his eye. He must have called Jesse and set this up. After everything that's happened, after everything I've done, he's still looking out for me. It can't be hard to see why I would be insecure about Greenlee. Well, no, I mean, everybody knows what they had. You say that like it's in the past. But it's not. There's still a spark between them. Oh. A connection, whatever you want to call it. Oh. And you're so desperate to cut off that connection that you would lie to make Greenlee's case stronger. Well, it's not like I planned on it, but you were attacking no. Ryan and it just came out. Right, yeah. Liza, you were there. Did it seem like something that I had rehearsed? You know lying under oath is a crime. I know, and that's why I wanted to see you. Because I couldn't go through with it. No, you found your conscience, right? Look, what I have with Ryan, it's something that I've never had in a relationship before. Hmm. And I wanted to hang on to it no matter what. Even if that meant that Greenlee had to suffer for it. But if I'm going to make this work, I can't do it by sandbagging Greenlee. Ryan's got to choose me on his own. What is going on, Madison? No, no, Madison, wait. Hold, 